Let me give you another one that's a multiplication. You said multiplication is harder. Okay, let me give you the next problem. Let's think about how to draw this picture. Sue has 12 coins. Abe has five times as many coins. How many does Abe have? How many bars do we need now? How many people do we have here? How many people are there? Go ahead. Two. two. Who are the two people? Who are the two people that are here? Yes. Abe and Sue. Abe and Sue. Let's draw two bars. Now, which bar, which bar is going to be the easy one to start with? Yes. Sue. Sue. Let's make a bar for Sue. How many, and how many are in her bar? Twelve. How many are in her bar? Twelve. twelve. Everybody agree twelve? Yeah. Okay, let's all put twelve in there. Let's put twelve in there. Everybody has twelve in there? Yeah. Now, how would we draw, I don't know how many there are, but how would I draw Abe's? This is very hard. If this is Sue, what do we know about Abe? How many of how many of these little bars do we have to have for Abe? Here it says Abe has how many times? Five. Five. So how many of these little bars do we need? How many of these? Five bars that are the same size as Sue. Let's draw five bars that are exactly the same size as <coughs> Sue. Does that make sense? Now does this picture make sense? Yeah. If Sue has one bar, how many does Abe have? Five. Five bars. Now, how much goes in each one of these bars? <laughs> what goes in this bar? Twelve. What goes in this bar? Twelve. And this one? Twelve. And this one? All right, now. <laughs> this is so good. How many twelves do we have? Five twelves. Now I'll put on those thinking caps. Ready? When I snap my fingers, I want to know how many all together. Sixteen. Okay. How did you get? How did you get sixteen? One way of doing it. 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, and you got 60. Did anybody do it differently than that? <coughs> yes. Like, um, well, first write down the equation with the 12. So what you're saying, if I'm understanding, is you're saying, I'm trying to figure out 5 times 12. Is that right? But you would write it a different way. I would write it. Um, you like to write it vertically is what you sometimes say. You would prefer to do it this, this way here, OK? Yes. And, and then, then what? You, what you could do is the two yeah. times the five by itself. Five, five twos is ten. ten. Okay, and then five tens, yeah. not ones. Does five this mean tens. one? Is this a one here? No. No, what is this over here? Ten. One ten or ten. How much is five tens? Fifty. Fifty. And then you add. And how much is that all together? Sixty all together. So that's that. another way. Anybody do it differently? Yes. I just did. He said, I know four, two twelves is 24, four twelves then would be 24 and 24 is 48, 12 more. Okay, listen closely. What I did was I took the two away from four, and I just did 5 times 10, which is 10, and then I just did the 5 times the two. Do you hear that? Isn't that really easy? Let's call it, okay, let's call that Bart's method. If you have to multiply a single digit times a teen number, you can just multiply the tens first and then multiply the ones. Simple. That's a good way to do it in your head. Let, let's use Bart's strategy for just a second. How much would five times, I don't want any paper and pencil. How much would five times 13 be then? Let's use Bart's method. Five times 13 in your head. Let's use that method. Five tens and five threes. In your head, five tens. You know how much is five tens? Everybody knows five tens, right there. So we five tens is fifty, and five threes is fifteen. And how much is fifty and, and fifteen? Sixty-five. Oh, it works all the time. All right. Now we're getting on to the harder problems.